I don't know about you guys, but I do not think these guys look healthy. Hello everybody, Obi-Wan362 here, and welcome back to Batman Arkham Asylum. In the last part, we were trying to follow the trail that Gordon left us. We ended up having to clear out a room full of armed dudes and save some, save these guys. It wasn't too bad. And we solved a couple Rizzler puzzles while we were at it. And so in this part, we've got more work to do. This door is locked. So what we shall be doing is not, is apparently leaping. That's not what I want. How do I, do, how do I get out of here? Jeez, does anybody know? I don't remember. Can I just go through this door? I can. Generosity of our benefactors on the wane. Ah, you get, see what they did there? Oh. I need to explode that wall. In the meantime, left or right? Left or right? What have we got? Oh. Well, we're leaving. So we're actually going the wrong way. Why are we going this way? We want to be going the other way because we gotta save some doctors. That's right. I remember stuff. Here you go. And here's a door. It says surgery, X-ray, and observation. Huh. Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new. Research. I can't I can't listen to him because he sounds like um Harriman from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Good afternoon, Arkham. Let's talk about the mind. There they are. And such a complex entity we understand. So Yeah. Makes it hard to take him seriously. Was there a, was there a Riddler challenge for in here? There wasn't. Oh my gosh. This hallway does not have a Riddler challenge. I'm almost offended. That means some of the bitches cash. What's wrong with you? Don't you know nothing? Cash had a disagreement to kill a croc a while back. Croc got free and chowed down on Cash's hand. Oh really? Yeah, so if you see a giant monster running at you, just shoot it. Or you'll be next on the menu. And down you go. Poor guys. Someone should have warned them. Observation. Whoa. That's enough. Just shouldn't put cash in there. How dare you? Cash, what happened? There was an alarm in there when I heard someone shouting and found a doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gags. These doors locked down. We can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. How oh, brave. Let's give Mr. Cash a great big hand. He could use one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. You'll be laughing out of your butt when I get out of here. Lighten up, Holmes. I'm just messing with you. Really? You think? Leave it, Cash. Can you control the ventilation system in there? Drag. It's a no-go. He disabled remote access. I'll find a way. I always do. Yeah. Ah. No, 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 Batman! That was unnecessary, but alright. If you really felt that was necessary, Batman. You've got to help us. If you can clear the gas out of the room, the doc and me can get out of here. 
do my best. That's what I can see in, the, in here. If I can't, I think I can. Hmm. How did I do this? Again, yeah, I've played through this game before. Only once. I need... Oh, that was not it. Alright. Alright, so... Means there's something I can hit from here. There it was. Hey, there was something. I don't know if you can hear this. Board's showing power to Phantom One. That should be dead by now. I don't want to fall in the gas. Calm down. Calm down, evil citizen. Excuse me? If I'm going to save you, why should I save you? You're a jerk. Uh, I hate to do this, bud, but I need a hand here. So if you don't mind. It's much more reliable. If you really think about it. Cash? I shouldn't have left Intense of treatment. I would have made sure that freak stayed where he belonged. And you'd have been in trouble just like the rest of them. I don't know. We lock him up, it's out, and more people die. If I just had one minute alone with that animal. If anybody had one minute alone with them, he'd probably be dead. Ooh, yes. The patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Riddler. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. <laughs> One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. <laughs> what is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. Naturally. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. And by so good, I mean terrible. Should obviously never do that to a baby. But. Come on, that writing's fantastic. You believed it, didn't you? There's no Riddler things in here, is there? Oh, there is. There's one. I missed it when we walked in. Was this Firefly too hot off the press? Oh, Firefly, where? I remember, I remember what it is, I'm, it's, it is. I just don't remember where it's at, is it in here? Ah, here it is. Hot off the press, Firefly. Yeah. That one could have been solved by a monkey. Good job, nevertheless. Yeah, a little too easy, but that's okay. Alright, so... I can't... I can't... Ah! I can't get in there yet. There's a lot of... medical staff needing my help. 
There's a lot of points where they're like, you get to backtrack. Changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such there we changes. Go. Early results were promising, but it was only after the arrival of patient X that our expectations were raised. Um, we we'll go this way right, since it's right here. This was the catalyst that led to a full scale adoption of the Titan process. We must all thank our benefactors for this opportunity. Of course, we must. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic. Well, this looks bad. Batman! Doc? Don't speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <gasps> It's true. You really are the world's greatest detective. How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys. See if he can detect being punched in the face. Probably not. Well. Shit. Pick up things like that. You could hurt yourself. You or yourself. Fools, eh? Get down there now. Nope. I mean, they could be waiting for April Fool's Day, but it's probably more likely to be Calendar. Calendar Man. Oh, gosh! Nope. Lay back down. Just stay there. That could have gone better. Don't get too full of yourself, bats. But look at this guy. Softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. Look at this guy. He's like, we'll see. he's like, oh, I'm just gonna check my watch. Could wake up. Yeah, look at that. Look at what time it is. I can. It, it, oh, it's time for me to not fight you anymore. My bad. The fact that they have face masks is I'm weird. Sorry. I tried to tell you I couldn't speak. Relax, yeah, you're I already knew. I can handle these low life thugs. Come on now. I'm Batman. No need to fret. Let's hop up here, shall we? Oh, let's see. Can't do anything about that yet, but what was the riddle? Something about Thomas Elliot. Ta-da! Tommy Elliot. Oh, hush. Oh my gosh. If you've never read Hush, and you are any sort of kind of fan of Batman, go... There's some spoilery stuff in there. You probably should already know it by now, though. But go read Hush. It's amazing. Oh, it's so good. Alright, so, anyway. Uh, these, these fence things, we'll eventually be able to tear them down. For now we can't, though, so. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer. I have two old friends coming to the party. One of them is just terrified to stop saying hello. The other, well, let's just say he's going to be surprised to see you, and you will be to see him. Great. That was one of the easy ones. The premier psychiatric I was going to say, you're losing your touch, man. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, what's this? Triple battering! Oh, where's the... We'll go with this one. Because as we saw last episode, that would have been handy to have. So. 
I really should upgrade my armor because I'm not that good at this game. But, oh, combo batterings would be a good idea too. You've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled Oh, wait, no, nope, wrong way. Safe haven for we represent all medical this specialties way. and offer a wide range of medical, Towards the surgical, unarmed guys. and wellness programs. High quality of care coupled with Arkham Asylum's convenient location have ensured we are voted convenient location. Can operate up. Nope. Really? No, I guess you just got beat up by a girl. I guess not. I guess you were still beat up by a guy. You just, you know, a guy that you said hit like a girl. See, that's why you shouldn't. You shouldn't insult. Uh, at least attempt to insult people until you've beaten them, and then you can maybe. La 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 la. Ha, 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 ha. So the problem is, if you blow, if you give them any indication that coming, that uh, you're coming, then they shoot the doctor, and you don't want that. So the key is to take out all of your enemies at once. You're all right, Dr. Young. I can't. This door is apparently permanently locked. You should not permalock doors. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Uh, maybe. Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Not a problem. All staff have been rescued. You'll be safer if you remain here. Hi. Pretty. That was pretty simple. All the medical staff are safe. Time to continue following Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. Aye. Oh, look, just what the doctors ordered. What did it say? Oh, the elevator! That's right. Huh, actually, the path I started following was the path that I would have came had I been able to get through the door instead of having to climb through a window. Or make a window. Whatever. Because that's where I want to go. Obviously, by the giant exclamation mark. Isn't there... Oh, there's no one in here. Well, why is there not one in X-Ray? That's lame. I thought there was. That's weird. I thought it was in one of these uh, X-Rays. Oh, not the button I wanted. I'm surprised. I really thought there was one. Well, anyway. I think... I think that'll do it for this episode after we... Character Bio! Yeah, you can pretty well guess the one I'm going with. I'm going with Hush. Because it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and, unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune. 
When his plan failed partly due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages, but he was in the end defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots revenge against Batman, generating complicated schemes with surgical precision. That was pretty spoilery. There, were, there was probably a notation before I got into this that said, spoiler alert. Because... Hush, you can buy it. You can buy it as a single graphic novel volume. It's it's worth every penny. It's fantastic. Uh, real name is Thomas Tommy Elliot. He's a surgeon, based in Gotham City. Eyes brown, hair reddish brown, kind of like mine. Six foot three, two hundred twenty-five pounds. His first appearance was in Batman number six oh nine. Yeah, he didn't quite look like that though. I don't think he did. Maybe he did, I don't remember. Uh, he's great physical strength augmented by a hatred of Bruce Wayne. We all know what hate will do. Yeah. World-class surgeon capable of extraordinary medical breakthroughs. He's a master of disguise and determined to destroy Bruce Wayne. Yeah. It's a bad day. He's a little crazy. But just a little bit, like just enough. He's still pretty cool, though. Just in a bad guy kind of way. Whatever, anyway. Anyway. That'll do it for this episode of Batman Arkham Asylum. Thank you guys for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, we will be back on the trail of Gordon and Harley. Hopefully we can track them down. I will see you guys then. Goodbye, y'all.